Excuse me. Are you Susie? My name is Maggie. Nice to meet you. Huh? How do you do? I'm Susie. But you... Who are you? Huh? I'm Kay's girlfriend. I contacted you because the notification on his phone was full of your name. Who is Kay? Ew, oh no. Don't play dumb. Of course, it's about our boyfriend, Kay. I still don't know what you're talking about. And don't contact me without permission. But I thought that without contact information, I wouldn't be able to properly tell you how I feel. No, that's not the problem. The problem is that you suddenly contacted me with my contact information without permission. I don't know who you are. And what do you mean by how you feel? Ha, huh. that is, of course, that I want you to break up with him. You're dating him, aren't you? I'm his favourite, so you should break up with him. And of course, please don't live together. Favourite? Dating? Live together? I have no idea, but who is this? Don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about. No, I really don't know. But I know. Don't fool me. No, I really don't know the guy, and I'm not dating him or anything. I mean, where did the idea of living together come from? I'm not dating anyone, and I don't want you to contact me all of a sudden. But, Susie, if you didn't break up with him, I'd be in more trouble. Aren't you misunderstanding something? I don't think what you are saying has anything to do with me. That's a lie, isn't it? You're saying that because you don't want to break up with him, right? When you say breaking up, I don't even have anyone to break up with. Huh? No. Break up with my boyfriend right now. No, I'm saying I don't know anyone like that. Well, I think you will break up with him anyway, because I'm the one who he is really in love with, even if you are lying. Um, so I don't have anyone like that to break up with. Are you still lying to me? I've been dating him for three months now. We're even seriously talking about marriage. So, break up with him right away. If you're hanging out with him for fun, it's a waste of time. Yeah, <laughs> congratulations on that. But it doesn't matter to me. Huh? Are you a habitual liar? No more jokes, please. Whatever you think, it's all about you. No, I'm not lying. Listening to you so far, I don't have a clue, and I'm probably mistaken. I don't know your boyfriend. I've been living all alone for a few years. I'm not dating anyone. You lying old lady. You say that much on top of making accusations? Rude. But think about it. I'm young at 24, and of course he would choose me. Prettier and younger than an old woman, right? I guess so. But still, I think you're going too far. I'm older than you, but I'm not old enough to be called an old woman. I think I'm on the younger side. Ah, yes, yes. The old woman is so desperate. It makes me laugh. You really have quite a personality. You're not listening to me at all. One last piece of advice... Your contact information is absolutely wrong. No, absolutely not. I can't be wrong. I want to get married while I'm young. I'm going to be 25 in a few months and I'm getting older and older, right? I've always wanted to get married by 25. But I can't get married yet because of you. Um, I don't care about that. It's not my fault that you can't get married yet. How long are you willing to lie? No. So how many times do I have to tell you that I don't know about it and that you have the wrong person? If you're going to do anything, don't bother me anymore. That's impossible. I won't give up until you break up. 
Anyway, I don't have anything to do with you two, so it's not my problem. No, you're definitely dating him. Come on and break up. So, listen, I don't know that person. Please contact his real girlfriend. You're the real girlfriend. That's why I'm contacting you, his real girlfriend, now. Even if you say that. I told you before, didn't I? His line notification was buried in your contacts, so I even stole your contacts to talk to you directly. I think that's quite a problem. It can't be helped, right? Because if I don't contact you, he won't be able to break up with you. You really can't listen to what I'm saying. It seems this doesn't make sense at all, so I'll just say that this was not the case. Don't contact me anymore. What do you mean? Well, I hope you break up with him right away. Hey Susie, haven't you broken up with him yet? Hurry up, I'm a better match for him. Apparently you're still dating him, right? I'm not fooled. Is it you again? I'm not cheating on you and I can't break up with him because I'm not dating him in the first place. And I told you not to contact me anymore. I don't know who you both are. I'm single and I've only had one boyfriend, so this conversation has really damaged me mentally. Huh? I don't care about your mentality. Are you listening to me? Huh? That's my line. You're trying to blame me when you're not listening to me at all. I'm contacting you like this and listening to you, aren't I? How stupid are you? Well, I guess I'll say it again, so listen carefully. I don't know either of you. You're such a cowardly bitch, trying to talk your way out of it like that. No. Oh. Are you blind? Or can you not read? I haven't said anything difficult, right? If you don't break up with him soon, you're going to be in a terrible situation. What? Are you threatening me? I can't help it because you haven't listened to me at all. I'll harass you until you break up with him. So that's a false accusation. I don't know anything. I doubt that. Hey. Oh, that's the first time Susie has contacted me first. What, breaking up? No. It was you, wasn't it? What? What are you talking about? You can't just suddenly throw flour at people. Flour? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. There's no one else I can think of. I don't know. Oh, uh, did this finally make you feel like breaking up with him? That's not the only problem. Huh? Maybe I need to harass you more. Still not willing to break up with him? How did you find out where I was? What? Of course, when I followed him, I happened to see you with him. Really by chance. So I was able to track you down to the nearest station to your house. Did you follow me? That's almost a stalker. Unbelievable. That's totally a crime. I'm going to call the police, including this flower case. Hmm. Are you going to threaten me with the police? Oh, how scary. It's your fault anyway. If you had broken up with him sooner, this would not have happened. It's not a threat. I'm going to report it now. I won't give up. If you don't like it, break up with him right away. Really? You're really out of your mind. Well, not really. I just want to live happily ever after. I'm waiting for him to propose to me. That's terrible that you're harassing me for that. If you bother me any longer, I'm really going to call the police because I'm afraid for my safety. So, if you do as I say, you'll be fine, right? If you don't do it soon, You'll be worse off. Any more, and I will take legal action. If you want him to break up that bad, ask him directly about his real girlfriend. If I did that, 
he would think I was doubting him and that would be complicated. That's why I'm asking you. You're really crazy. There you go again. You don't listen to me and always going in your own favour. Anyway, I'm not going to get involved anymore, so talk to him directly. Hey, you're not getting away. If you're not going to get involved, break up with him. You really called the police, didn't you? The police contacted me. You're really the worst. But I'm not going to give up. I said I'll report you, right? But I am so sorry to hear that you haven't given up. I told you I'm not scared of you, right? You really have an incredible personality. You definitely have a screw loose. Not really. I'm just trying to find my happiness. I'm going to marry Kevin, have some kids, travel around on Kevin's favourite motorcycle and have a happy family. Kevin? Bike? By the way, may I ask your boyfriend's last name and his hobbies? Oh my God, it's Kevin Howard. His hobby is motorcycles, of course. But you already knew that because you're dating Kevin, right? Oh, I see. You were talking about Kevin Howard. You finally stopped playing dumb. I'm on my way to you and Kevin's house right now. And I'm going to force you to break up right in front of me. Huh? My home? Yes, I'm not going to leave until you two break up. I get it. Do whatever you like. Missed call. Hey Susie, what is this? Oh, have you arrived home? I thought you finally admitted you were in a relationship with him. But what was that attitude you just had? I don't know who that was, but it's terrible to let another woman deal with me and not show your face. I didn't admit that I was dating him. So, who's that woman? You two must be living together. You can't hide it anymore. I don't live with him. I'm not even dating him. Because he's my brother. What? You're a liar. That's an outright lie. Then who do you think that woman is? She's Kevin's wife. I told you, it's all your misunderstanding. Huh? Wife? Wait, is Kevin married? What about marrying me? Kevin was having an affair with you. He probably didn't even plan to marry you. That's absurd. Ever since he was little, Kevin was a troublemaker in our house. Even when he's grown up and gets married, still has an affair. He has been married to three women because they all got pregnant, and he also has an illegitimate child. An illegitimate child? All got pregnant? Oh, that's a lie. That's definitely a lie. Because the Kevin I know... He got a classmate pregnant that he wasn't even dating when he was in high school. And he was fired from his job after he had his hands all over his co-workers at work. Oh, no, no. Oh, and yes, he had an affair with a married woman in the neighbourhood and even messed around with my friend. He's had countless troubles with women. That's a lie. Tell me, it's a lie. I'm sure he's in the middle of some crazy shit right now after his wife finds out about the affair. His current wife is with him, knowing everything about his past. She sounds like a very scary wife, and I think he's going to have a rough time this time too. I wonder if he will finally stop playing around with women, cheating on his wife, having affairs. Was he that kind of person? Well, he deserves this too, and so do you. See you then. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Missed call. Hey. Susie, please reply. What is it? You're really persistent. I told you everything the other day to clear up the misunderstanding. I apologise for the misunderstanding, so please help me. After that, Kevin's wife and Kevin got mad at me, but it's not my fault. Huh? Well, 
Of course, Kevin's wife would be angry because you were the one having an affair and show up at their house. Well, Kevin has no right to be angry. He says he was never serious with me in the first place. He was so nice to me and told me I was the only one. I haven't heard from Kevin since he told me he wasn't going to marry me. No wonder. Well, as a big sister, I wanted my brother to get it together, so I kept in touch with him regularly. At this time, I got involved in all the hassle and I had had enough. I gave up on him. I stopped getting involved with him because I can't handle it anymore. So I can't help you either. Oh, don't say that. And you deserve what you get too. That's a horrible thing to say. I'm the victim. Huh? Horrible? Victim? I've told you over and over again about the misunderstanding. Ah, uh, I'll admit it's all my fault, so please help me. Please. Really? You ask someone for help as soon as things get bad for you? But why should I help you? You threw me flour, verbally abused me and annoyed me. If you think about it, I don't want to help you at all. You're not going to make it anyway. Huh? What do you mean? Kevin's wife told me that my brother just paid the alimony and ran away somewhere. But you still owe her a lot of alimony. He ran away? You mean alimony? I'm not bad. It's Kevin's fault. I can't pay for that. I don't have that kind of money to begin with. If you can't pay, you have to work until you can, right? And you're saying you're not bad. Of course, Kevin is bad, but so are you. That's ridiculous. Sure, I was bad too, but it doesn't mean I should be treated in this way. You have a lot of nerve after harassing me so much. I'll say it one more time. You got what you deserved. Sorry. I won't do it anymore, so please help me with that. Well, good luck with the alimony payments at best, Maggie. Oh no, Miss Susie! Hey, Susie! Since the incident, I've blocked Maggie's contacts and cut off the relationship since then. The whereabouts of my brother Kevin is still unknown, and Maggie is charged alimony by Kevin's wife. Maggie was demoted and left with rumours of infidelity at her company, and all that remains is to pay a large amount of alimony. On the other hand, I no longer have to get involved with my brother's relationship with women, and for the first time in a long time, I am free from stress. It feels so refreshing to finally have a normal life. <laughs>